Well, if you happen to live in the IPS school district, your property tax bills now are going to go up. That's all because last night, voters approved a referendum to help pay for building upgrades and renovations at several of the IPS schools. 13 News reporter Emily Longnecker is here with how many people voted for the increase and how much it's going to cost the average homeowner. Let's check in, Emily. Well, almost 60% of the folks who voted yesterday who live in the IPS school district voted yes to having their property taxes go up to fund renovations on 20 IPS elementary and middle schools like this one. IPS says for the average homeowner, that will figure out to be about $3 extra a month. It all adds up to a $410 million capital referendum to pay for upgrades on IPS school buildings like Arlington Middle School, which is slated to get $66 million of that new money to pay for things like a new wing of classrooms, parking areas, a media center, and a family resource center. The last time IPS asked people for more money via a referendum was in 2018, when they asked for roughly $50 million to make safety improvements to all their school buildings. This time, money from the tax increase will go towards bringing several buildings up to a standard of good within eight years. A recent study showed 30 percent of the district's buildings were in poor condition. Without the tax increase, IPS says it would have taken a lot longer to get there, around 14 years. It's not like we're getting state of the art. I mean, every kid deserves state of the art. So if this is just regular updated maintenance that every kid deserves. So when can you expect to start paying that extra money in property taxes? IPS says in June of next year. On the east side, Emily Longnecker, 13 News. Thanks, Emily.